Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am the Motorcycle Rescuer and this is Motorcycle Rescuer. So I think today's the day, um, I'm going to attempt to take, to take this to an MOT. If it starts, runs, rides and does all the stuff it needs to do in regard to lighting, then yes, I'm definitely going to take this for an MOT um, and hope it passes. I've just pulled this back out after a couple of weeks and actually look how clean it is. I mean, look, the chain is spotless, the wheels are great. I must have given this a good all over clean. Um, this is going to be a £850 bike, roughly. It'll be advertised for a grand, and we have to use the V62 form on this occasion to get this one out, but that's fine. Um, the good thing about that is if you're buying it to use it, that's fine. There's no issues there. You can ta you just call them up a few days later, you tax it over the phone, and, and it's your usable bike. And let's be honest, in the past, we had to send logbooks off in, in the post anyway, and it was four to six weeks, so it's not a huge issue on this occasion. But of course, it does need to start run, ride, and do all the braking and lighting stuff that it needs to do. Um, I remember on the last occasion it was uh, a bit slow to warm up. It just it took a couple of minutes to kind of really warm up. But, uh, but it did warm up and it ran beautifully. Um, I've got a brand new uh, accelerator cable for it later. And I'm tempted, tempted to pop this carb off one more time and go back to the other jetting because we found our issue in the end, it was a dodgy coil. Um, so I'm tempted to go back to the original jetting and just see for one more time if that does this bike any good. Because um, it runs and rides beautifully now, but with that jetting it may um, just prefer, kind of, it may just warm up a bit quicker and it may just be a bit more of a usable bike. So, I'm going to do my tests on this bike right now, get it started, check all the lighting, and then I'm going to be off to MOT. So, here we are. These are my guys, Maitland Racing. I walked past this shop my whole life, and um, I never used it or went in because I thought they were too specialist. I know that sounds nuts, but I used to see the racing bikes up here. These bikes have been here a long time. These bikes, they built themselves they built them themselves and they were racing bikes in the 70s and 80s um, I think it's a TZR engine I think um, or it was at one point they used to make these for you guys on the road for two grand in the 80s two grand you buy it, it you know not not on the road literally not number plated on the road ready to race is what I mean um, bike rode really well honestly I nearly turned it around after three minutes of riding on choke and then going to half choke it was really boggy um i very very nearly turned it around um because i thought it's not right and then I, I switched it to normal no choke and it rode beautifully um i think i've down jetted the pilot too much i need to up jet the pilot by one or two because if i remember rightly i went down three so i think i've gone one under the original so I need to up the pilot. Hopefully that will sort out the um, the warming up cycle. Don't get me wrong, guys. You can sit and leave the bike there for three, four, five minutes with choke on, then half choke, and warm it up. And once it's running, it really does run beautifully. I'm not touching the top end. I'm not touching the top end. But um, but then first couple of minutes, if you want to get up and out, it's just it it feels horrible. It feels like a broken bike. Uh, once riding, really stunning, really hits a good top speed. So uh, I'm very happy with it. And actually, it looks stunning. I mean, riding it was fun. It looks, it's a great looking bike at this stage. By the way, everything's working. I've rechecked it again here, indicators, horn, lights, etc. So there you go, guys. Um, I've switched the fuel off, so if it sounds a bit up and down, that's because the fuel's off. Um, that's a pass. I'm not sure if it's a clean pass. Literally looking now. 
that's a clean pass, guys. That's um, that's brilliant. That's um, no advisories. Uh, it rode beautifully, absolutely beautifully. Um, come on, I've switched the fuel off. Uh, what I do want to do is go and get the throttle cable that I've bought. Um, because this one has this, uh, it's not right up, up here. It should slot into the top of the car perfectly. And the only adjustment you can do is up here. Um, I did order the right cable, but the wrong one came. So I'm going to change the cable up the pilot jet a little bit by one or two. And, um, and I think that's it. It didn't need any warming up. It sat for 45 minutes for the MOT. Didn't need any warming up on the way home at all. Lovely. Um, again, just to remind you guys, I turned the fuel off there, in case anyone's wondering. Um, so, yeah, so uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it didn't need any warming up on the way back, it didn't need any at all. Uh, it rode spot on, guys, that's brilliant. I'm going to head home, get the new cable, uh, bring any jets back that I've got, and then today is going to be kind of finishing up this one because I can get it advertised and out of, the, you know, out of here, really. Um, I say out of the way, it's been, uh, it hasn't been a long project guys, it's probably been six weeks, so not a long project, but it's been a project, you know, it's been up and down and up and down, um, and I possibly, I can't remember the early stages of this project, but I possibly made it a bit longer than it was, it possibly just needed some valve adjustment with the original EFI system in place, potentially. But I remember there was, uh, maybe the fuel tank wasn't working. Anyway, brilliant. Um, let me go and get the cable I need. We'll come back and we'll, we'll pull it on. We'll change the jetting slightly and we'll get it back to normal. Malcolm, I've just got back from MOT. You all right? Malcolm, see, I'm surprised you needed the, do you go on camera, Malcolm? You don't generally? Don't Malcolm don't mind the camera. Um, all right, what is your new channel called? It, it was Piaggio Rescue. It is now M MD, MD, Motorcycles. MD Motorcycles. MD Motorcycles. Malcolm's been here before. Um, and actually, last time, I think it was tired. Did I, was, I, I was I going somewhere or something? I think you had to go to work last time I was here. Something like that, yeah. So you didn't get very long. But today's perfect timing. Just back from an MOT pass on the Lex Moto Valiant, which we haven't seen for a little while. Um... So, Malcolm, I'm going to be changing the throttle cable because that's slightly the wrong one. Up jetting the pilot slightly, and then that will be ready to go. And then you'll get to see the, um, the KSR Moto stuff. Okay, guys, I'm just talking to Malcolm. Um, Malcolm was saying with the uh, Suzuki 50s that he would part them. And actually, that um, it is an option. What I was saying to Malcolm was actually a couple of things. First of all... That, that bike over there has a history. It's been on the road in the last few years. That bike was road worthy. That's never ever been registered on the road since at least 2006, since the record started. So um, my plan ultimately when I'm bored in the summer is to take that, get it running perfectly with my new carb and then drop the engine and switch it over to there, put all the good panels over there. Put, I've got a new ignition set. I'm going to create one good bike with that frame. That's the number plate for that bike. So that bike will have everything it needs to get a logbook and have MOT. Um, I've done partsing in the past. I was saying to Malcolm, I can't stand the wrapping and the taping and the taking it to the post office and all of that side. No one wants to come and pick up parts anymore. They want them delivered, including full-size engines. Um, and I can't do that anymore. I'd rather someone... Someone offered this week to buy him a watch off the channel. He said he'd, he'd be interested in breaking them. Um, I think they're worth £800 broken. I think they will fetch. The engines fetch kind of 300 each. Then you've got all the panels, anything else. You'll easily get 800 broken for them. So I had them on eBay for 400 um, And I had many kind of potential takers, but no one actually snapped them up. Uh, if anyone was to come and give me 400 for them, I think I'd let them go, Malcolm. Yeah. Um, I think for, they can either build one bike, it, it's very possible, I'll, I'll do it in the end, or they can strip them and make much more money. Uh, where are we? Here's the new cable. Let me just show you what... Um, 
The difference is just this end here. Look, it should poke into the top of the carb and then there's no adjustments, but my one has a slightly different top end. If I'm very lucky, I'll be able to root this without taking off the fuel tank. All I need to do is remove the, the seats and the side panels and pull the carb out this way. So I'll kind of have it at an angle this way. Uh, change the, the pilot jet, oh, the idle jet even, and then change the cable and we should be good to go. Uh, that's what I'm gonna start doing, stripping it down. And yeah, I'll feel much better, I think, once I've done the little jetting work and once I've done the cable. Uh, honestly, it's fine on this cable. The, my concern is that cable stretch and stuff, it's hard to show you, to see it. See this here? See, that shouldn't be there. It should be sitting nicely on top of the carp here. Um, so I just think kind of cable stretch and stuff is just going to get in the way and make it a slight bit more Unreliable, which is why I'm doing the change All right guys, so look we've stripped down to where we need to be because we're changing this in a minute aren't we? And then we're down here now uh, Idle jet I thought was a 34. It's actually a 35. So we're looking for a 36 or a 37 replacement um, I'm sure that will do the job I can't actually find any, but uh, I know there's some in there. Uh, I'm leaving the 98 main in there, that's that's fine. It rides beautifully on the top end. And it rides great on the bottom end. It just takes a bit long to, uh, to warm up. So I, I think a 36 will be my absolute ideal situation here. 36, retune the um, air fuel screw, and I think we'll be good to go. I think this bike's done and ready for sale, actually, um, by that stage. So it might be by the end of today, Nipping, tucking, polishing, and uh, get it advertised to get it out of here. It, it, it's a great bike. So I'm setting Malcolm a task while he's here. So Malcolm, this needs to slide on to there all the way, loosely. Um, my drill bit was a 13 max, so I've got a 14 there and a 16. I'll get you the drill. So all you've got to do is drill this out and then just test it make sure it goes all the way on and moves and we'll be good to go so i'd go 14 first guys i just set malcolm up for a really important task but something else has come up but rab jab just called me the police have found his ktm we need to go and get it lucky enough we've got malcolm here as well to help um first port of call with anything like this guys take chains with you chains and locks and anything you've got because like we haven't literally got a fan right now have we so fat chain, take it with you. You might need to lock the bike up locally until later you can um, put it in a fan. Spur. Although, let me get online. I'm going to see if there's a fan free. We'd be nuts not to, Malcolm.